What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install FTP Sky Odyssey onto your client and onto your Apex server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our upcoming tutorials. Ah, vanilla Minecraft, a classic. Well, it's super fun to hang out and kill zombies and check out the overworld, you kind of get tired of the same old kind of train, and maybe you want to change it up and spice it up a bit. Well, introducing FTB Sky Odyssey, a FTB take on the classic skyblock type game mode in which there are plenty of mods to explore. But before we jump into this, let's make sure that you know that you can find any links that you need in this description below whether it be the link to the FTB page or anything else. To get it installed onto your server, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to your Apex panel and click on the red stop button to stop your server. This may take a moment, but once it's finally done and it's stopped, you'll scroll down to where you see the jar file field. And in the drop down bar, you're going to type in the search section FTB Sky Odyssey, and it should be the only thing that appears if you type it out correctly. Go ahead and select that, and a pop-up will appear asking you to change version, which of course you need to. Then you'll click Create New World. And from here, we're actually going to select I'll Restart Later, and you'll see why in a second. So there is a recommended option, and you're going to need to head to your left-hand side and click on the Config Files for this. You're going to select server settings right at the top there. From here, you'll scroll down and you're going to locate the section called level type. In this section, it will be set to default normally because that is the default. And what you're going to type in is void in all lowercase. This will set the world type to the void world and you'll click the green save button and a new pop-up will appear. You'll click create new world and restart now. This will get the FTB Sky Odyssey world working properly. We do recommend this because that is the best way to play this mod pack. To install it on your client, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to feed-the-beast.com or click the link in the description. This will take you to Feed the Beast's homepage and here you can check out the description of FTB and much more. But what you're going to want to do is head to FTB app right next to the home button and here you can select the download installer for the operating system of your choice. Go ahead and run that installer process and once that's done, you're going to launch the app. Once you have launched the app, you're going to head to the left hand side and click the browse button. In the search mod packs tab, you're going to type in FTB Sky Odyssey and it should be one of the only, if not the only, pages that show up. Select the one that I've selected. Here you can see the description of the mod pack as well as the list of mods with the mod pack. And what you're going to want to do is click on the green install button. A pop up will appear that asks you to select the version on the mod pack. And of course, I'm going to be selecting the most recent version. And then I'm going to hit the green install button. This will get your install process loading. And once it's finally done, you'll be able to see view instance in the bottom left hand corner. From here, it'll be showing you your instance that you've downloaded and you can click the green play button right there to get the mod pack started. Now let's break down some of the mod pack. The first thing that you're going to want to do is obviously start up your world because you can't really do much with just the one stone block. So type in slash team create tutorial. From here, this is where you can select a bunch of different options of islands that come with this mod pack. I'm going to just select castle since it's the first one, but as you can see, there's a whole list. Once that loads up, which may take a moment, you'll be greeted with your brand new island. From here, you're going to open up your inventory and be greeted with a lot of new things to look at. But let's break a little bit of it down. The first thing is the quest book in the top left hand corner. From here, you can see a lot of different bubbles with different icons of different materials. And if you click on these, then you'll see the quests that go along with these icons. Of course, there are a lot to explore, so that will take you a while to get through. 
The next thing we'll look at is the claimed chunks. Now, this is useful for multiplayer servers mostly, because a single player can basically claim everything, but what this does is allow you to claim certain chunks of the land to be your own for your own team. Next, let's talk shops. As you continue to quest, you'll gain these coins that you can use in this shop that you can buy certain objects and items. Obviously, things can get pretty pricey though, so you'll definitely want to save up if you want to get something huge. Next, let's talk about Draconic Evolution. This one is pretty cool. It adds a lot of variety in terms of weaponry, and personally my favorite is some of the stuff that you can make with the Draconic blocks. From here, you're going to check out Extra Utilities too. This one is actually rather small in the long run, but they do add quite a bit of useful items that can be used in multiple different ways. But if you're like me, you'll just find something to screw around with like these rainbow blocks and have a lot of fun looking at them. And of course, you can also mess with bedrock too. Let's move on from here. This is Inventory Pets. Now, Inventory Pets is probably my favorite amongst these mod packs that I've come across recently. Not only do you have just cute little inventory pets, but a lot of them do really potentially dangerous things like this creeper pet, for example. Of course, this banana one you just throw and that's about it, but it spins in your hand, which is cool. But if you right click with the creeper pet, it'll blow up anything in the vicinity. The next thing we'll talk about is Tech Reborn. Now, honestly, this one is too massive to break down into a couple of sentences, but I'll do my best. The main thing that you gotta really notice is that there are a lot of different ores and a lot of different unique items that you can use to craft and build with. The main common issue we deal with is the server can get stuck restarting. With the Forge mod loader, all you have to do is type in slash FML confirm in our console and this will get the mod loader working. After a little bit, you'll be good to go. Well gamers, that's a lot to handle. I mean, Skyblock, but even crazier? I mean, it's just crazy enough that you can't even see the ground from where you're at. So getting on top of that and then dealing with 167 pages of items, there's a lot to explore and you're sure to have hours of fun with this new mod pack. Well, that'll just about do it gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.